Hey guys and welcome back to Mavro Productions. Today I'm joined by two professional footballers that play for Olympiagos Nicosia. I'm here with Ruggiero Silva and Diego Ramos. Say say hello. To, say hello. 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 Okay, so um, we're doing an interview with them. Um, so first I'm going to start with you, Ruggiero Silva, and I've got a question for you. Uh, this is your first year out of Portugal in your career. How have you adapted to the change and what do you think of Cyprus so far? Uh, it's uh, it's the, the first time I come out from my, from my country and uh, it's very good for me. It's a new experience and uh, I'm happy to, to do this. One of the, the most important for me is uh, my girlfriend come with me and help me with uh, a lot of things. Uh, it's very good for me. Yeah, I've seen your girlfriend on your profile, and it's good that you and her are both happy. That's very good. Um, so now my next question for you, Diego. And uh, hola, and it's uh, what is your favorite goal you have scored? My favorite goal. Goal that you have ever scored in any in any team. Yeah, and yeah, and you scored. A, do you remember who it, who it was against? Uh, again, uh, one team of Pass. I don't know the name because I think uh, Finnish. He played first league, but now he's yellow. I don't know the name. Co I don't know. The, I don't know the name. All right, that's fine. Okay, so another question for you, Rogerio. Um, so you're naturally a winger, and I play a winger too. But you've been playing left back recently. What position do you prefer? And how have you adjusted to this position in left back? Uh, I prefer winger or left back. I don't have. Uh, I don't know the matter for me. Uh, the coach said to me, I play winger. I play winger with no problems. If you say me play yeah. left back, I play left back. If you say me play stopper, I play stopper. No problem with it. I only want to play and do my job. Yeah. Different. What's the difference? Yeah. What's the difference for you? Like, how do you find playing different in a different position to what you usually play? Yeah. Okay. Now back to Diego. Um, so this is you have been in and out of um, Olympia uh, Olympia Gos. Yeah, you play for Olympia Gos or Olympia Gos. You play for Olympia Gos. Yes. Yes. Olympia. Yes. You have been in and out of Olympia Gos. What attracted you to this club initially, and where do you see Cypriot football progressing? Yeah, and where do you see Cypriot football progressing? How far do you see Cypriot football uh, going? I think the Cypriot progress. I, I play in Cyprus four years, and uh, I think now the, the, fo the football is is better because it's more fast. I think, and uh, I have more quality of the the players, and some coaches are now very good. Yeah. Okay. Back to Rogerio. Can you explain to us the way that you play as a winger? If I play as a winger? Yeah, how do you like how do you play as a winger? Do you like to cross the ball? Do you like to cut in and shoot? I, I, if I play like, like a winger, I prefer to play in the right because I'm left foot and I yep. come in the outside to the inside with the ball with the dribbling, passing, left passing, cross, shoot, you know, because I'm not left foot and I go to go outside to inside. Problems in the middle. Yeah, I'm left footed too, so that's good to hear someone. Yeah, I'm I'm left footed too, so that's good, yeah. Okay, um, so back to you, Diego. As a striker, I like using my left foot and right foot. How vital is using both your feet in your game? I like the right foot. Yeah, but. Usually... Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 
Yes. Yes. How important is it to use your left foot and your right foot when playing football? Both in I during a game. It's very important. It's very important because if you are a striker, you don't play with two, two, two left and right, you have a chance to score and you must score with the left and the foot. It's very important. And these different uh, good players and very good players if you play with the uh, left and the right. Yeah, okay, now this question is for both of you guys, so for you two. Um, do you have any advice for up-and-coming footballers? Any advice for? For footballers, like people that want to be professionals, like you guys. Ah, okay. You must, I think, like uh, football, you must uh, show it, and you must, uh, you must uh, sleep good, I think, eat good. It's very, it's very important. Yeah, um, it's, this is, so this one's for you guys as well, both of you. Do the most important thing that you want to do, yes. For me, I, I, I like to, to put touches for, for the, the years. And this year, I want to go to the first division. In my career, I want, serious, I want to play until 40 years old. Or 40 years old. Yes. I, I make all to, to my body stay, stay good for the, I play yeah, and now, yeah, what does, same, now Rogeria, what does Rogeria want to do? How about you? A little same that the, the, for me, I put the target, the goals for a year. This, this is my first year from, out from Portugal, and I want to achieve the, the team goals, is win the cup, go to the first division, and after, if it's possible, stay, stay here in uh, play in first league Cyprus, or maybe better, I don't know. But this year, my target and my goal is win the cup, help the team to to achieve these goals, and okay, I, I'm, I'm happy if, if uh, I do this. Okay, and my last question for both of you is, you were both in the ranks at FC Porto. How did it feel to get training from one of the best clubs in Portugal? The different training in Cyprus or Portugal? Yeah, and how did it feel to be in training with FC Porto, with Porto? Yeah, Porto is, the, is one of the, big, the biggest teams in the world. Yeah. They have, uh, a lot of different uh, methods training, it's very complex trainings. Uh, but in Cyprus they have uh, very good teams like uh, Olympiacos and they have good trainings too. It's, it's the, always the same, not 100% the same, but you do the same things, but with uh, any change, you, you know? Yeah. How about you? For me, for me the same. I think the kids in Portugal uh, learn more football than Cyprus kids. But now uh, the, the difference is not too much. Because if you see, Portugal has three teams in uh, UEFA and uh, Cyprus the same. Yes? Three teams. One uh, thing to progress, and Cyprus now I think to progress. Portugal has, has uh, too much people, is 11 million. I think is normal to have more, more players. But I think Cyprus go in the uh, correct way. Yeah. And I think it has progressed this, this year. Yeah. Okay, so um, that's all that I have for you guys. Um, uh, muchas gracias for for taking your time out of your busy schedules to interview to to answer questions for me. Yeah. Thank I, you and sorry for the sound because it's very difficult. Yeah. No, 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 no worries. It's okay. I, it's fine. It's a, it's fine. Okay. Uh, muchas gracias. Good luck with the season. Um, buenos buenos días and 
Um, all the best. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Yes, lads, that was the video, the interview. I'm sorry for the audio. It was a bit, it was a bit dodgy um, on their behalf and on my, out, my behalf as well. But anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy that interview. The language barrier was a bit different, but we did manage to get the questions in the end. Um, so yes, thank you all for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to Mavro Productions.